how are you? This is Renee with Yami Life with Eileen. Guys, welcome back again to my kitchen. And my people today, I'm teaching you something that you haven't tried or even watched. We are going to make our own pineapple jam at home. Yes, guys, I went to the market the other day. And uh, I think it's the market right now for pineapples. Because I was buying uh, this big of a pineapple for 40 shillings. So I bought, I think I bought eight. And uh, we have eaten some. We have also made some dessert with it. But I want us to make pineapple jam. So guys, here are the ingredients of the day. My people, we are going to need a good saucepan. Two medium ripe pineapples. A blender. Uh, three lemons some salt, a cup of sugar, and a juice squeezer. So guys, let us first make our pineapple. Clean hands always. And guys, before I had peeled my pineapples, I had washed it in uh, white vinegar and also rinsed it and put them somewhere to drain. I had covered my peels because I do want them to attract flies. So make sure you have cut your pineapple clean and now we are going to peel it. When I'm buying pineapples, I really like having this core so that I can be able to hold it firmly. I like cleaning my pineapple as I go. So we put the pills away and we clean our worktop. I had already peeled and chopped, so my pineapple is clean. So all you do is you go, you know, you drive your knife. You can see something here. You drive your knife like that. You make sure you reach the middle core. I'm just making it easy for my blender. Then you ride it lengthwise. Then we start now chopping it into cubes. Make sure you don't cut the middle core because it doesn't blend. And then I have myself a snack. Now we are going to get our pineapple ready for the blender. So don't put a lot so that we don't strain the blender. And 
we are going to blend this until it's a smooth paste. You see guys, I haven't put any water and yet it is blending very, very well. So guys, you can see how smooth our pineapple has become, you know, it's a thick, thick paste now. So we finish up blending. So we are finished blending. Make sure you get all that goodness out. So my people, you're going to put our saucepan on medium high because we want to balance the sugar. We're going to do three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Then we are going to stir this. So we will cover this and let this cook down. My people, our pineapple has come to a full boil. And now because you want to thicken it, so we are going to put our cup of sugar. We stir the sugar. And it's easier to stir the sugar in when it's hot. So the sugar will dissolve very, very fast. You see it has changed the color now. So our sugar has totally dissolved. And now we are going to put our fire on min. Because we don't want this to boil and pour over. We just want it to start thickening up. You can see the, the low simmer it has. Yeah, that is what we want. So as, as our sugar is cooking down, we want to squeeze the juice of three lemons. So lemon is going to be our preservative. So we've gotten the juice of three lemons to throw the seeds away. My people, I don't throw this away. I'm going to cook it in the door. You know the storage compartments of the door of the fridge. And it will make my fridge smell very fresh for like two days. So let's check on our... Wow. You should smell this. You see? It has started thickening up. Remember you have to watch your fire. It doesn't have to be high. And again, this is the secret of any boiling thing. As much as it has reached boiling point and there is constant heat, it will keep boiling. So we still take it down a notch. And we are going to cook this down for about 20 minutes. Then it will thicken up properly. And our pineapple jam is going to be ready. So my people, 
it's been 20 minutes now our jam has cooked down and it's ready so you see how thick it has become and it is very very hot so you have to be very very careful so we are going to put our lemon juice mm. I love the aroma. I love pineapple jam. And they just love the pineapple jam. So we are going to cover this and I'm going to cool it down in a water bath. Then I'll see you once it is cold. We do the testing and definitely we do the packaging. Guys, my pineapple jam has cooled down. It has thickened. So it is ready for storage. So I want us to store it. This is what was remaining in the previous batch. So we fill our pineapple jam. See how thick it is. It tastes so yummy. Here goes our jam. So we are going to store the remainder. In this disposable container so see how thick it is here goes our jam it's like it has given me more than a liter from just two pineapples so I am a happy 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 girl so guys thank you for being with me in the kitchen today we have made a very, very good and healthy jam in the house. So this will take me for some time, some few months. So I thank God even for the opportunity to do these things. And thank you guys. Thank you for being with me. God bless you so much. Bye guys. See you in my next video.